M0FXB, forget hotspots. Enter the digital radio world with the new M1KE. This is what Shark RF, the makers of the open spot, tell us. They've always made great products. Never seen a screen before, so this is a first for Shark RF. And this tells me, uh, and I am completely guessing, but this tells me that the next hotspot that comes from Shark RF, open spot 5, will have a screen. I don't know that. This is just Andreas guessing, but hey, I don't very often get it wrong. So it does have a control panel using your browser, just like your open spot does. You hold it in your hand, you start to talk, and you're on DMR, DSTAR, Fusion, and I'm sure they cover P25, NXDN, and, and lots more. So I have got the instruction manual on the right-hand side. I thought I'd have a quick look at their, their little snapshots, comments that they're saying just here. I've, and then we'll look at the manual. It says here, bring the world in your pocket with the M1KE. Talk to near, nearby M1KE devices. So you can, you know, talk Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi, I guess. 750 milliwatt loud audio output power. DSP audio processing, processing with voice effects. Sunlight readable OLED display with brightness control. Easy configuration on the device display. Yeah, it looks like you just choose where you want to talk, put your DMR number in, and away you go. Live display view, remote control, call audio playback. So there's the you know the main website. On the right hand side, we've managed to get hold of the instruction manual, and there's quite a few sections there. So let's just look at the layout first. So we've got the Shark RF M1K user manual. Uh, volume button here, PTT, so it has a PTT. Uh, oh, the, 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 <laughs> the not real radio people are going to love this. Please, we've heard it, it's boring. Um, just communicate and have fun and learn. It's a technical device. Everything we're using is is got Wi-Fi. That's a radio. You know, Wi-Fi wi is a radio. Please get that in your heads, yeah? Um, even our mobile phones, they're all radios. They're all using radio masks. So, um, microphone at the front, charge LED, USB-C charging, which is pretty much law now. Speaker on the front, I wonder what that sounds like. I mean, you can get good sound from a small speaker. I've seen that with many devices, and I'm sure they'll choose a nice one. Up and down button, power and back button for your, your little LED display. Lanyard attachment, it does look quite small. The user manual is for the stable firmware version one. Okay, already talking firmware. I bet you it will, this one will automatically update. You can download a PDF and then that. So let's just go to first steps. Obviously we haven't got one. Do you know, I haven't actually fully decided um, if I want one, I haven't fully decided. Probably, um, you know, probably that's what I'm gonna say. So the uh, so right the welcome screen. So after the device has been powered up, the mic displays the boot logo and the initialization setup welcome screen. Press the OK button and then next. Is that it? Let's just go next here. Uh, if you're located in yeah choose your area, makes sense. Next. Remember, I'm brushing through this. Please read it properly if you, if you buy one. Um, connect your Wi-Fi. It says you can skip Wi-Fi if you want and use the mic to talk to other mics. But I, I don't really see the point of that because, what, everyone's going to buy a mic and talk to each other. But we're even most of us are not in range of each other. I get that it will work as a walkie-talkie. But in real practical terms, the range is going to be Wi-Fi range. Mm, I'm not sure that that appeals to me. It's not that I don't like using the device. If I could just key the mic now and speak to someone in America, of course, that completely appeals to me. But to speak to someone sat in the same room or sat on a field somewhere, fishing, that, that doesn't appeal to me. Um, I'm not knocking the product. I think it looks like a, they've, made a, they've made a great job. It looks like a, a good quality product. Just give us, give us some user case scenarios, Shark RF, where that would be handy rather than just using our phones. Um, owner information screen, so get your call sign in, DMR number, as you can see there, 
and you're done. Okay, that's it. Fair enough. Yeah, you got call log screen. Do you know what? I know that it it looks like it doesn't, but to me, if this was also had the ability, if it had an RF module in it, and it had the ability ability to connect our radios to the internet, so basically it was a hotspot. Yeah. Um, I think it would appeal more to me. Um, at least give us the ability to connect it, and I think I'm sure they're going to do that, to connect it to our open spot. So I've got my open spot on the table, and then I hold my... Um, so the open spot's getting me... So that I can get my... Ra well, does that make sense, though? If we've got the open spot, I can use my radio. I suppose it seems po it's pointless, isn't it? Because if it, act it has to act as a standalone hotspot. I'm just one wondering how if, if it needs the open spot to do that, then it's pointless because you've got two devices doing what one device would have done. So yeah, it's a bit of an interesting one. Oh, sorry about that. And um, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. So give us your feedback. It's it's here. Shark or F, they always dive in. They do things well. They're always high quality products. They would have done their research. They must know there's a market for this. So now us as as possible buyers, um, can I have some feedback from everyone watching this? If Shark or F ever watch this, give us some user case scenarios of using this. Now I get the thing where we can just pick it up and just talk. Like right now I could go DMR, you know, DMR. Um, and there's not many devices that you can do that with, you know, that have a that have a PTT and a, a screen that you can look at. You've got your DV stick, which you can probably plug into your phone and your PC, so that would give you that. And the Open Spot Open Spot 4 Pro has the app, so and then you can use your phone. But yeah, I do think it's unique in the way it's the only thing you can just pick up, just like this, yeah. Pick up PTT, remember, volume up, down, small screen, and just go, I'm on CQ UK. I'm on Reflector 1 Charlie. I'm on Talk Group 91. So I get it. I, I get it. I don't think it's it's not going to do fine. And I like the design. I like the clear case. Like someone the other day said, um, when I saw it, they didn't like the fact that it wasn't white, you know, because all the open spots, that's white. That did make no sense to me because clear cases, clear cases always look better, in my opinion. You know, I'm not the guru of of what looks good, but here's a clear case here, right? Hopefully it'll turn on. Let's hold it down. Of course, this isn't um, nothing to do with Shark RF. It's a receiver that you can buy. It's called the Geek Nest V5A. Clear cases always look best. Hi, Mike. Fancy a chat? It works okay. They're not expensive. They're, you know, you think about it. This is like £50 delivered, okay? Which is £50 still, you know, £50, yeah? And with the Shark RF, you're talking 350 to £400, which I haven't got one with the mic, should I say. And even the Open Spot 4 Pro, I'm sure there'll be some Christmas deals now. By the time you get it, um, that's a hefty amount of money, but you get cross mode. And cross mode means that you can use one radio and go on. So say I've got a C4FM radio, and then I can go on D-Star and DMR and XTMP25, APRS. Let's have a quick look at this. It's got APRS built into it. I notice it's fully compatible with an iPhone. So it shows up as a as a serial COM port, and as long as you're on the same network, it's all good. it's going to show up in your browser, whatever device you're using. So PC, laptop, tablet. And there's a screenshot here of the interface, which we're familiar with if we have an open spot already. Here's the ongoing call screen. So PTT destination. That's, for example, TG two one six five. Call destination, USA, bridge, 3100. Call source, source info. Source info again there. Call DMR, 
call timer call audio level so you can you can have a little meter there it's going to bounce up and down when you talk looks like you've got battery showing there and wi-fi here as well got settings screen here connect to switch conf config profiles wi-fi display owner information and then you can initialize so just flicking back to the sort of their home page I'm going to try you know I know you can subscribe it says here please subscribe and it says we're launching our new product I can't see perch purchase even if it says out of all out of stock where's the purchase so we'll look here on the per I've clicked products first it's taken me to this subscribe and then you that actually shows the box that it comes in and so the inside is like a green you can see more see like a green circuit board there uh, there's the box that it comes in and they're calling it a handheld wireless LAN IP transceiver you've got the whole world in your pocket let's now go to shop which is here and the pro is 279 euros so I think it's a lower price than usual and let's hit the thing yeah definitely showing us three four nine and stock wise you know, if I try and buy it now see what it does ah uh, look get notified so then you just give them your email which I've already done so yeah I'm not really sure I'm literally not sure how I feel about it at all you know uh, so that's why feedback is so important do we want to talk to each other you know, do we want to talk to each other on one of these? Or would we always part of the hobby, the fact that we can pick up a radio? I know we're going via a hotspot, yeah? The open spot. And go, hello, I'm on DMR. Hello, I'm on C4FM. Do we like the walkie-talkie radio experience, even though we know we're, we're, we're piggybacking off the internet. Thanks for watching my channel. Please hit the like, subscribe, 7-3. All the best.